what's up beautiful people listen down my welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled why the term white privilege is revolting douglas murray interesting i'm excited to check this one out to hear what i gotta say let's check it out so what would you say to someone who said you know because you acknowledge that perhaps we painted history in a jingoistic way previously and we're working towards making it more honest uh, an honest representation of history but what would you say to someone who would say well this is the moment when kind of ethnic minority people women uh, lgbt people are now getting their fear hearing and that this is just people that are very uncomfortable with with having that um, increased representation reacting against that well I mean, the first thing is, I do think a lot of people who make that, those claims need to know more. I'm getting rather fed up of people who've only just discovered things, presenting it as if everybody else is as ignorant as them. Hmm. Like, some of us happen to know a lot of female writers before the year 2020. Some of us can think of an awful lot of very talented and brilliant black figures from before today. Some of us happen to know that there have been very prominent gay figures who existed before 2020. Hmm. And I'm sort of startled at how much people give themselves away when they present it as if this is all new. Now, is it true that certain figures and certain voices were not heard as much in the past? Sure. But you exactly. can play that game almost irreducibly. Um, mm -hmm. And by the way, another thing worth pointing out on that is there are a lot of lines we don't play that a lot now. For instance, you can very easily say that the history of literature and politics has to a considerable degree underrepresented the working class. You can say that in almost every country. Let's go a little further down that road. You can certainly say that people who are illiterate have been not well represented throughout history, or people born to the worst imaginable circumstances, irrespective of any other issue, have been poorly represented in literature, government, and so on. There are lots of ways in which we could do this. Now, the way in which we've decided to focus on it, for all sorts of reasons at the moment, is let's focus on it on gender, race, and sexuality. Um, but, I mean, history was a mess for almost everyone. You know... Thank you. This right here is it. And I keep saying it. For people who always want to point it to say... Um, history is beneficial to one side and always want to make it look like it was just one group of people or just one person that orchestrated or done it history regardless of how you want to say it was messy regardless of the case yeah there are positive sides there are negative sides but the fact that lots of people dwell so much on the negatives without even looking at the positives also like it don't make sense but let's look at it in the from in, in, in from the point of, of all fairness history regardless of how it is i always say people should learn the entirety of history to free themselves so they don't be guilt tricked or feel some sort of a victimhood what to whatever information they hear because no matter how you want to play play it history lots of things that happens in he happened in history we are not so nice but the essence of you learning history is to make sure that most of those negative outcomes or whatever don't repeat itself but but it seems like there are some people that want this or want history to repeat itself so bad that they start doing some things, some act like in a they just beautify it or glamorize it and present it to us. It don't make sense. But this is interesting. Thank you, Douglas Murray. Let's go on. Almost everyone. You know, it's 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 one of the reasons why I revolt at the impression given that, for instance, white mm. privilege existed throughout the past and it was something that excluded black people. Most people in this country did not have an easy 14th century or 15th mm. century or any other century mm -hmm. up to the present. 
you know, you only have to go two generations back to people who, you know, didn't have basic sanitation in this country. In our own lifetimes, one in five people were leaving British schools functionally illiterate. So there's a, there's a lot of problems we can identify. Yes. And I'm not minimizing any True. group's sufferings in that. I'm just, we need to have this understanding yes. in the round. Um, and I worry that we're f we are focusing on specific parts of it. And furthermore, we're focusing on specific parts of it without solving Thank you. it. Oh my God. Um, I mean, you must feel this as well. We, 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 our society at the moment is like the eye of Sauron. We, we, we go on to things, we focus on them, but we make Thank them you. worse. You know, I wouldn't mind if all of this was simply bringing out voices that have been not heard, heard enough from the past. By the way, so there's an academic point to make on this. This was originally the point in black studies, gay studies and women's studies. The original idea is a pretty good one as an academic discipline. It's to say, in the past, there were, I mean, think of George Eliot. Mm -hmm. There was a reason why George Eliot had to write under that name. Mm -hmm. But, so, so you can play, you, you can definitely play this exercise of saying, there were women in the past who were not read enough or had to disguise who they were, and let's therefore return to them now and bring those voices back up. That seems to me to be a very noble academic enterprise, and a noble enterprise in other ways. You can do the same thing with gay figures in the past, and you can certainly do the same thing with black figures mm -hmm. in the past. That seems to me to be a very, very worthwhile enterprise. Here, here's the moment where it starts to divide. It starts to divide when those people are already in the canon. They are not black literature, gay literature, women's literature, they're literature. Thank you! They're not black history, gay history, women's history. History! history. And one thing, and I, I focus on this in the studies thing, because it's so interesting that what has ended up happening, instead of allowing these figures to, to be. become part of that and remain part of that, they suddenly are back to being in the special interest shelves. Mm -hmm. And that seems to me an epitome of what I would have thought we wouldn't want. Exactly. Thank you, Douglas Marissa. Exactly. What I've noticed about people, especially people from the left who are refining the history to benefit their narrative. They always love to put people in a box. So you see, they love the group, the group, the group, and they'll be like, okay, this particular group will feed them this, with have uh, said this and said this. So the light is not shown on them, the real thing or the real truth about history. They want to be like, okay, this set of group were left out, this other group left out, and this other one. So you just one particular group of people that were beneficial, and we all know who, that is the white man. So everything about history is always blamed on the white man. When you talk about slavery, blame the white man. When you talk about um, inventions, oh, blame the white man because the white man wanted to own everything. When you talk about colonization, blame the white man. Talk about civilization, blame the white man. Other groups or other people were left out. It was always the white man. And I've said it before, people should learn the entirety of history. I don't think after listening to this, people want to blame people over it. Rather, you should be blaming the people who are teaching you or who are telling you one side of history and that is just it and that is what we see all the time with people being angry for nothing some people don't even know the reason they are angry they're just angry because oh they heard this and they believe it was true exactly there is nothing like black uh, black literature black history women history and all the like why don't we have white history or white literature why don't we have um, white invention and black inventions. Why? Why don't we have white sports and black sports? Why? It just goes to tell you some people just want to create some sort of division. And they want people to be, be seen as such. And they need your mind to think like that. But this is interesting though. Regardless of how people want to see, history was messy for some people. 
were all the white people in history were they wealthy no some people also suffered some people did not even benefit half of the things that lots of people are saying white people did but they existed they moved on not all of them were continue to dwell in that they had to work for it but no guilt trick the white man and let the black man be a victim it's a win-win situation so you you who is feeding into their mind you play defense and benefit from both sides that is the way it is rather than seeing these people or liberating these people or letting these people be seen as victors or the other one seen as conquerors or something that they did nice no you should be locked in don't say not nothing nice about history don't say it say the messy part say the negatives but again, I always say people should learn the entirety of history and it should be as such. Regardless, there were not, not so nice things that happened in history, but there were also positives out of it. So people should learn the entirety of it, regardless of how hurtful you might think it is. It will liberate you. That is where you get your freedom from. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below. I'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share. I really love you to share that. You can share other useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.